Let's start. Little Miss Me. But rather hardly. Little Miss Neat was a very tidy person, probably the tidiest person in the world. She lived in two pin cottage. It was called two pin cottage because she could it as named as two pins. She just couldn't stand the mess. Every day she spent all day polishing and dusting and cleaning and making sure that things were in the proper places. One morning, little Miss Nate awoke in her bedroom at Tilpin Cottage. She looked out of her bedroom window. It had been raining during the night and there was a puddle in the middle of her garden. Oh, she gasped in a horror. She rushed outside with a duster. She mopped up everything, drop of puddle, and she rushed inside and washed the duster. And she ironed the duster and she folded the duster and then she placed the duster very neat back in its drawer. Everything in two pink cottage had its proper place. P place of now, this is a story. The time little Miss Neat went on holiday. She always went away from one week every summer. And this year was no different. She spent two weeks packing. And then she spent the whole day polishing her suitcase. And then she she set the living to paint cottage of spit and spain and neat and tidy. Oh, I hope it doesn't go to dust anymore. I'm away, she thought to herself, as she closed the door behind her. But something is worse than dusty and what's going to happen to to pink cottage. Would you like to know what? Mr. Model came to tea. He threatened to little Miss me to tell her. But being Mr. Model, he somehow ain't got a model. Posting the letter. Actually, what happened was that Miss Model went to post the letter. She she had the letter in one hand and a half-eaten sandwich in the other. Can't guess what happened, can't you? That's right. He posted the sandwich. He posted cheese sandwich. It would be nice to see little Miss Neat again, he chuckled. He thought as he walked home, this sandwich is a bit chewy, he thought. It was the day after little Miss Neat had left Mr. Model arrived. He walked up the garden path of two pen cutter and no a little no reply. Goodbye, he shouted. It should have been hello, but he answered called Mr. Mondo for nothing. Nobody home? he called. He pushed the door. Oh dear, he thought as he looked but nobody home. Never mind, he thought. I might myself a cup of tea and wait for little Miss Neat. So she went into the kitchen of two pen cottage and made her himself a cup of tea and waited and waited and waited and waited and went home.
and Loomis Neat stepped out of the taxi outside to Pink Cottage. That was a lovely holiday, she thought. She said, paying the taxi. Flower but it's nice to be home. She walked up the garden path and went in the door. Not too dusty, she thought to herself, looking around. I think I'll make myself a nice cup of tea before I start unpacking. But making tea after a Mr. Model visit is quite as easy as it is. Loomis Nate found the teapot. It's not the pot. In the refrigerator, he finally found a milk. It's not in proper place. In the teapot, and a tea, and a sugar bowl, and sugar in the milk jug, and a cup in the oven, and a saucer, and a bread bin. But could she find this tea spoon? She could not. The telephone rang. Loomis Neat picked it up. Hello, she said. At the other end of the line of Mr. Mother's summary, really, she was holding the telephone the wrong way around. He turned the right way around. Goodbye, he said. Who's that? asked Loomis Neat. It's you, replied Loomis Neat. Loomis Neat thought. It's Mr. Model, isn't it? She guessed. Yes, replied Mr. Green. It for for once, and you paid to me for a little while I was away on holiday, and then too, she guessed again. Yes, replied Mr. Model. Green it right for twice. Can I come and see you now? You're back. I suppose so, said Loomis Nate. Goodbye. Hello, said Mr. Model, and put the phone down. Loomis Nick sighed very soon and sat down on the, in the armchair next to her telephone. Ouch! She looked underneath the cushion. There was all her teaspoons and knives and forks. I don't think Christmas Neat will be taking holiday next year, do you? Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks.